out, come to the right a little bit more, to the right a little bit more, a bit more, a bit about that. Now stop there, right. Now when we take off, what, what's gonna, which way is it going to go? It's going to go left. It's going to go forward, it's going to go left, isn't it? Yes. So we're going to need a little bit of right run. We normally jam it in. Today we get Matt Airborne on his first training flight. There's lots to learn and new ideas to be processed. He did really well with some interesting questions, even found a cloud with his name on it, and began to understand what's required to fly. If you'd like to watch the pre-flight training, then I'll add the link to that short video below. So come with us and enjoy. If I've taken off and there's sufficient runway still ahead of me, I will push the stick forward and come back down to the runway. If we're past the end of the runway, on this runway, I can only go to a paddock to the right. Yep. Okay? And if it is an engine failure, it'll be real, and you'll give me the control straight away. Feed off, hands off, I'll yep. take control. Okay? Yep. That's, that's the, the three things we need to break. Yep. Now lastly, before we take off, the three things we can get wrong. The flaps are set up here, looking up here, where I want them. The fuel pump is still on, F, F, I. Instruments are green. We're good to go. Call the traffic jabber 7385, rolling 23 for the training area. Caller. Okay, so we can let go of the brake now. The thing's over the back, that's good. Hand on the stick, up on the stick, and I'll come with you. Okay? So it so will so it we, will go left a little bit, so we need to put a bit of right right So in. just I steer it a bit of power and then at your call, lift. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll start to pull back. We'll come together, okay? Yep. So ease the power on. Ease the power on. See it going left already? Yep. Bit of right foot. Bit of right foot. More right foot. More right foot. Don't fight your feet. Keep more right foot about there. Push, push, push. Bit more right foot. That's it. Keep it there. Bit more right foot. There we go. Keep it there. Full power. Look at hand on throttle. Hand on throttle. Now bring the stick back a little bit. Just relax your feet. Relax your feet. Relax, relax, relax. There we go. Now I have two hands. Control. You're airborne. So you don't pull it back. That is too hard. Yeah, just pulling it back. And yet you're very happy. You're very. Yep. Uh, tight, that's normal. Trust me, it's normal. <laughs> so, let's just talk about what we're doing here. We've got the flaps out. So we're airborne now, aren't we? Yes. So we can put the flaps up. So that's the lever there. So basically hold this with you and use your left hand. Flaps up. Flaps up, nose up. Call the traffic, Cabaret 899, three nautical miles to the north okay. at uh, um, over Gawler Dam, inbound at 2,000 feet on descent, Gawler traffic. So, no, we not going to do too much today, so we'll keep on going now. So in a minute, we're going to do a right-hand turn. Yep. We're going to go along this way here, so we put our right foot in and a little bit of right stick. Oh, perfectly in the middle. So it's not a skidding or a slipping turn at all. Yep. It's a nice turn. Keep the turn there, that's not good. Now we can straighten it up, so it's left foot, left stick. Now we're straight, and we're still climbing. When we get up here to about a thousand feet, it'll be what we call attitude, which means it gets the picture out the front right. Power back to 2,800. Power back to 2,800. Out there. Yep. Trim it to hold it there. You're going to turn down wind. So lead with your right foot. Set. Call it. Traffic Javery 7 3 5. Downwind uh, 2 3. Call it. Still flying? Not that hard, really, is it? Oh, <laughs> it's, yeah, you're right. It's sort of a bit to it, though, isn't it? Yeah, you get used to it. You've got farm machinery, right? Yep. Would I know what I was doing? Wouldn't have a clue. Yeah. No, it's all relevant, isn't it? What height do you want me to get to? Okay, so we're going to leave the the, uh, the circuit area. We're going to go out the training area, right? Make a call. Call the traffic. Jabiru 735, departing downwind 23, on climb uh, 2500, tracking north. Gawler. Okay, so we want to start climbing. Okay, so we always use full power to climb. So push the power in, push it all the way to the bottom. Keep going, push, push. And we can use the pitch, that's the elevator, right? Yep. We can use that to control our airspeed. 
So I want to climb up at about 75 to 80 knots, which is doing now. And we're coming up at about 400 foot a minute. Done that, yep. Roughly, you know, a bit bouncy today, but it'll be alright. Nothing untoward. You want me to go through that gap in that cloud? Ah, oh, wherever you like. You're not allowed in the cloud, so you can go wherever you like, other than that. I just <laughs> got to stay below it then? Yeah, that's fine. Yep. You won't get there. So you can, we've got full power on, so you're, you're controlling your climb, 500 foot a minute, yep. at about 75 knots. So let go of the stick just for a minute, and it's trimmed perfectly. So you, you have no pressure in your hand. We're doing 80 knots. But always have your hand on the stick just okay, for safety. So if we want to go a little bit deeper, that means you'd pull it steeper and then trim it back? Correct. So yep. try it a little bit, so pull it back a bit more. Hold yep. the trim there. Now we're doing 70 knots. So, so always adjust it with this first, as you did then, and then trim it second. Trim's like a locking mechanism, not, it is, not the control. Yeah, yep. it's, it's a poor man's autopilot, really. It'll, yep. it'll do what you want it to do. Now, we can't go in the cloud, so let's go down a bit. That's a good spot to be, just under the cloud, isn't it? Well, as long as there's no plane coming out of the cloud, we'll be OK. Oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> They're lovely things, but they can be bloody dangerous too. Yep. Okay, so we're at 2,300 at the moment. So we've got these wispy bits of cloud. Hello, traffic, Cabaret 899, right downwind, runway 23, full stop, so call up. We don't want to keep climbing because we're going to the cloud again, so pitch it forward. No, pitch it forward, that's it, we're there. Yep. Then hold, get the trim to hold it there. So you shouldn't have any pressure in your hand. No, it's still coming up. Still coming up, so pitch it forward. Still going up. So push this forward first. That's it. Go back a little bit, a little bit. There we go. So you'll know that you've got to trim nicely with the right speed on. Because we'll be doing about 90 to 93 knots. Yep. Knots over there. So people say, what's knots? Basically double it. So that's 90, 180, 170 kilometres an hour at the moment. Kind of fast, isn't it? Call it traffic. And look out the window, that's three, what nine, you're paying for. On a base turn for runway 23. Call the traffic. That's freeling. Yep. That's freeling, yep. So see that little cloud over there? Yep. The little one. I want you to fly through it. So what would you do to get there? I start on your foot. Yeah, okay, so come around there, yeah, good. Thank you, good. Then you need to come down a little bit, maybe. And we can go through the middle of this little baby one. That baby one? That's one on the right. One on the right, yep. Go through the it'll, You'll get a little jolt, that'll be all. Yeah, yeah. Right side. We can't go in the clouds, but this is yeah. a wispy bit. Into the yeah, yeah. It's like you're hitting something, isn't it? Coming at you fast, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go, Ian. Here comes the freight train. Now, that cloud has a name. Nine, 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 on final runway two, three, I want to go down that, a little that, bit. That cloud has a name. And do you know what its name is? Cumulonimbus, is it? No, it's called Matt. Matt. In the history of mankind and this earth, no one has ever been in that cloud before. Oh, there you go. Except for you. <laughs> That's your cloud. Yeah, cool. All right? Yep. I want to go below this, yep, cool. this fella. So if I want to go below it and then I've got my trim set to the right spot, just yep. go down a bit and then release it and I'll go back to the right trim and it's... See what happens. And then it should go nice for me. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you really don't want any pressure in your hand. That, that's the key to this exercise, right? You don't want any pressure in your hand. So you'll find all the time you'll be constantly trimming. That's what we do. Good pilot of seeing this doing this little bit. Unless it's a really calm day, which is not today. Okay, so my control just for a minute. So your answer to that is your controls. You're in control, Ian. So we we now know who's in charge, yep. and you need to do that every time we do an exercise. Yep. Your your aircraft, my aircraft, my controls. Your I don't care what you use, but we need we now know I'm in charge. 
Oh, I say your aircraft, Ian. Yeah, my aircraft, and I say my aircraft, OK? So what we're going to do, we talked about um, the effects of those controls back in the, in the office, right? So if, if, for example, we said we know that we're doing 90 knots, we're doing 170 kilometres full forward here, right? If I jam the left-hand rudder in, the plane will turn. We'll still be doing 170 knots that way. Yep. Well, we, look, remember your motorbike? We on a nice circle. I'm just going to jam the rudder without anything else. Yep. So watch what happens. You see where the nose is pointing now? Yep. I'm going to push hard left. Just yep. see what happens. You ready? Yep. Down. Down she goes. Wow. So we turn. The yaw happened. Yeah, the yaw. Yep. But we, we, had, we also started to descend. Yeah. Okay. Quite rapidly. So that on its own is not a good thing. Yep. But we turn. We want to turn. Okay. So let's just find something around here. Use the highway here as a, a guide. Yep. See the highway there? Third highway. So this time, using the, the highway as a guide, I'm not going to use the rudder. I'm just going to use the aileron to bank. Now I want you to tell me which way the nose goes when I do it, right? The bubble in the nose here. So one, two, three. Went there. This keeps going straight ahead. Then it comes around. Yep. So the banking's good. We wanted it to bank, didn't we? Yep. But we don't want to do that. The nose going the other way. Yep. So that's where we have to do them together. Yep. Okay. So again, if I if I severely turn to the left now using the rudder and the aileron, the ball will stay in the middle. There's the ball in the middle. Beautiful. If I want to come out of that turn, I use my right foot, right stick. Ball stays in the middle. Okay? Now, don't fixate on this. A lot of people stare at it all day long. That'll make you sick just looking at the bloody thing. Okay? So, basically, understanding the effects of the controls and what I can get out of them. Okay? Is, is, is the skill of being a pilot. What do I want to do? I want to turn left. I want to turn right. I want to climb. I want to descend. You have all these controls at your, contro at your, at your back and call. You have to use them properly. Okay? So, you try it this time. So now we're facing back to Gawler. So just for the interest's sake, leave, leave the stick alone. Hold it. Hold it for safe. Now hold it. And just put the left foot in. Watch wet the nose. So it went there. Then it starts to turn and dive. Don't yep. want that, okay? Same time to get it straight and level again. Now use the aileron, bank it over that side. Nose went that way. See the difference? Yeah. Well, yep. It's quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah, so I'll do it again. That's yeah, how please, it just yeah. goes like that, yep. Get yeah. yourself straight and level first. Hold it straight and level. Even if we slow it down a bit. Trim it up. Now try it. Use your rudder. Over, doesn't it? So it, ro it turns, but it rolls. Yeah, big time. We want the turn, but we don't want the roll. Okay, so get your set up again. Get it straightener up there. Okay, and just to way. prove it works both ways, get to the level. Use your right rudder. Yep. Exactly the same effect. Yep. Welcome to the world of aerodynamics. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it takes a while to get the hang of that. Yeah, sure does. My word. And you don't, your feet... I mean, you've got fairly heavy feet, and you'll learn over time to soften them up. Yep. Um, basic, I, I, I use a, a patting a cat, right? Dogs like it rough, yep. but a cat likes smooth. <laughs> so I've, you're saying I've got a dog down there, eh? Traffic caller, Pawnee, Bravo, Skatango is joining mid downwind for runway 23, Gawler. So if I head over that dam... No, we might go over there because it's... Because if we have an engine fire, I want to be out of this side. You're not allowed to go there? Yeah, can, but if we have an engine fire, we're going to land in vineyards. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yep. so it's about safety. So uh -huh. we're a little bit low now. So now we want... There's another control, so straighten it up. Level. And we want to climb... We're at 1,600 feet. Yep. I want to climb back up to 2,000 feet. So do nothing else... I reckon. ...but hit, push the power in. Push, don't do anything else. Full push, power? Push, push, full power. Watch what happens to the nose. Done nothing else. Unreal, isn't it? And we're going up at 500 foot a minute. Where do we want to get to? 2,000. So to climb, generally, you must use full power. 
Don't baby it. These engines were never designed to be baby. Uh, did you adjust the trim then? Didn't touch it. Didn't touch it. Yep. So okay. it's, all it's done that to is power. Yep. Yep. So let's get up to 2,000 again. When we've been climbing like this and we want to stop the climb, it becomes power to power back to power back. 2,800. Back, back, back more. Out there. Attitude. The attitude's the view out the front. What's it called? The view. What, what looks out at the front? Attitude. So that, that, that's steep attitude. We don't want that. What was the word, sorry? Attitude. Attitude, yep. The, the, view, at the, the view, the look out the front. Yep. Remember we were talking about having so many fingers off the dashboard? Yep. It's about four fingers. But yep. you get used to that view, and we're not going up or down. Yep. So it was power, attitude, and then trim it to hold it there. Okay, so your controls, you're in control Ma again. Matting control of aircraft. Yep, so now we're doing 90 knots, so we're nicely trimmed. Yep. Okay, so now I want to come down. So, so we, we use power to get up here. How do we get down? You just want to back off the power Bring a bit. The power back. Clock, see what, don't touch this, just pull the power back. Stay back to about 80 knots. Or about 2,000 revs. 2,000 revs. What's happening? Dives. Look out the window. Okay, we're coming down. Yep. No yep. big deal. Nice. Now I want to go up, what would you do? Push, 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 push. push. Yeah, up. we wanted to... Pull. We want to go right up. We want to go right up. Yeah, pull, 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 pull. Up we go again. There's our 2,000. So basically get the attitude right first. Yep. Bring the power back to 2,800. And then trim it to hold it there. If you need to. There we are. Sailing along under the clouds. So that cool. good? Yep. So these are fundamental responses. Okay. So the last thing we can talk about, or the next thing we can talk about, we've talked about the rudder and the ailerons. They do two different things, right? One good thing and one bad thing. The last one is what we call the pitch. So we're not going to touch the power. About 2,100. So let's look at it. We're, we're at an airspeed of 90 knots. Yep. We're not going to touch anything, except we're going to start pitching it up. So start, don't touch the you, you hold it, you're in control. So pitch it up. Back, back, just nice and smooth. Watch what happens here. Yep. We start to climb. Hear the engine labouring now? Yes. Look at that. We've gone from 90 knots, 80 knots, even more, 70 knots. Yep. So the pitch... Really doesn't only gave us 200 feet. Yep. So, so, you, so you, when you when you're trying to climb, you're always full power. Always full. Power. Always. Just come out of the wall. Perfect turn. You're using just the amount of right of foot and the right amount of stick. So head that way. So straighten that left foot. That's good. I felt the foot coming. That was nice. And we're going up, aren't we? So push it forward. Get it fixed with this first and then get that to hold it where you want it. Out there, that's it. Not going up or down. So the elevator did pitch us up. It does pitch us. But the, the downside is we lose speed. So if we do it again, we just get ourselves here straight and level. You're flying. Climb it a bit. You're on it. So just let, no, leave there for now. I just want to get it settled down. A bit more power. So there we are doing the best part of 90 knots. Yep. So if we do nothing else but pitch it up, you pitch it up. Watch what happens to the speed. Oh. Okay, keep going. We're losing airspeed. Okay? But we did gain 150 feet. Yep. But if we wanted to climb 500 feet more, pitching it up is not going to get us there. Um, I'll just go down a little good bit. Good thinking, yeah. So again, we want to come down. We can take the power off a bit. That'll help us come down. Yep. So we can use the power and the pitch together to come down. Yep. So now we're back to where we want to be. So I get, that's it. Attitude, that's right. Nice attitude there. Power on. 18. 2,800. 2,800, yeah. Let's have that a bit more. And we've pitched up too much. So push it forward and trim it to hold it there. Maybe going down a little bit too much now. Yeah. About there. No, still too much. There you go. So 
you're always trimming. That's a very normal thing to do. There's Freeling again. How do you like to hold the stick, eh, Ian? Like just like that, or up there, or down there? Whatever or... suits. This feels better down, that's all. Right. Well, yeah, I mean, you really, what, the most important thing is to have control. So, my, my control just for a minute. What you, I you see a lot control. of pilots do is. Yep. Now, the minute you did that on takeoff, that's just fear, right? That's normal, right? Yep. But if you've got this like that, you, this is so tight here that you can't really manoeuvre it properly. So, on a, reasonable to assume, where's that cloud going? I don't want to go there. Um, basically, it's whatever feels comfortable. Um, two fingers. What I get some people to do fly like that when they grip it too hard because now you can't grip it hard. That does never work. So whatever's comfortable for you, have it where you have it. Adding control of aircraft. You want control? Let's just see if we can do a turn to the right and stay at 2,000 feet. Nose is a little bit down, so let's get ourselves pitch up to start with. That's a better picture. So have a hand on throttle, and you need a little bit of power to turn. Not much. So start a nice turn to the right, nice and smooth. Yeah. Doesn't have to be any steeper than that. Traffic. Glider, Echo Romeo, right hand, downwind, runway 23, Gawler. The ball's in the middle, and we're not going up or down. Yep. Now come out of the turn, so leave with your foot. Bring the stick over. Nice. Yeah, and then back the power off a bit, a little bit again. Yeah, just a touch. You want two there, don't that's enough. That's about right. So come around the right again, we don't want to go over the hills there. Some landmarks we want to remember, obviously Freeling is one. Yep. Lauke's flour mill down here. Yep. Is another one, we, we use it as a reporting point, we say we're over Lauke's flour mill. And then the next one after that is the pig farm on the other side of the highway. So how do, do those manoeuvres start to sound logical to you? Yep. They do. Good. Doesn't mean I can do it. No, real, no, no, no. But, but I, it but does it, logical though, yep. Yeah, okay, that's what I want. Okay, so um, let's just think, let's go through the process again. So first of all, let's walk, work out what the elevator, sorry, what the rudder does to us first of all. So what's the, when we put the left foot in, what's going to happen to the, to the nose? It's going to turn left and it's going to pitch yaw. down. Yaw. We use the word yaw. Yep. And it's going to pitch down. So try it. Guys? So the pitch down is not what we want. No. But the turn is. Yep. Kind of a both ways, right? So get it straight and level again. About there. Good. Actually, you're very good at keeping your wings level. That's important. A lot of people fly like that. Right, you're keeping yourself nice and level. That's good. So this time, don't use your rudder. Just bank it left. Where's the, no where's the nose going? Stays. Yeah, that way. Didn't yep. it? Go straight over there. Yep. That's to keep going on yep. the railway track. Yep. So that's the secondary effect. Yep. Okay. So we're at 2,000 feet. So if we do nothing else with pitch it, with power, let's just pitch it up so we climb up here at 70 knots. Just pitch it? Yep. Watch what happens here. Yeah, there, hold it there, not too far. So we're at 70 knots, and we're climbing, but only just. Yep. She's starting to slow down now. It just doesn't have enough power to get us up there. Yep. So now we're starting to come down, right? So that's the downside. So if you're A&T, you just want to do a really minor adjustment in altitude, go up a little bit, would yep. you just do that rather than changing all your... Just, I mean, a really minor adjustment? My control just for a minute. No, generally speaking, it's a combination. So here we are, straight and level 2,000. Call the traffic, general correction, Fox 4691, joining crosswind 23, call it. Um, yeah, so if I want to climb up, I don't know, 200 feet, I'd still Call do this. Traffic, up a uniform, radio check. Not not hammering it hard, I just want a nice, we've, it's like a cruise climb. And we normally cruise climb at about 80 knots. Yep. If we wanted to go up sharp, you know, steeply, we'd come up full power at 70 knots. So it's a combination of full power and pitch. Yep. And we're coming up at 70 knots. Yep. So we're coming up at 700 foot a minute. Depends on what you want to achieve. I'm not doing anything. And again, I could trim it there. And hold it there. Oh, yep. Until I'm finished, then it's attitude. Power yep, yep. back to 2800. Call it traffic. Trim it. 4691, turning down, went 23 caller. We're done. Look out the window. 
<laughs> this is the reason why you're doing it. I'm not doing anything. Missed him. So see this cloud in front of us now, the little one here. How would you climb above that? Um, I'd power on. Okay, go on the top of it. Full power. Push, 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 push. Up you go. Up, up, up. So it's full power and pitch it up. Sorry, you're in control. Your aircraft. That's 70 knots. Not too steep, not too steep. Can't get any more power. Got him. I think, I think you'll make it. You don't reckon? Yeah, you'll make it. Oh, I think. And when we get on top of it, go down the other side of it. Yep. There you are, they're on top of it now, go down. Bring your power back, that's what's got you up here. Bring it back a bit, come down again. Bring your power back. Now we're coming down. How cool is that? That is good. Stop a bit more. Yeah. There's a bit of target practice, that's what we're doing, isn't it? Come a little down. bit up the fluffy bit. the fluffy bit at the top, that's it. Doesn't hurt, won't hurt the aircraft. Nice and steady. Perfect. Bye bye cloud. That's map number two. Two. <laughs> come around to the left. So do we have to come in over the dam a bit to the left of the? No, run? right over the top of the dam. So is that? So is that dead in front? In, in no, line with it's to the right. Oh, to the right okay, is that? I can't even see it at the moment. It's in a shadow at the moment. Where the bottle factory is, yep. and whatever the factory is to the to the south of it, is about between those two buildings. It's right Right in front of us now, I can see it. So you sort of come in from the right side when you land. Yes, in. correct. Yeah. It's just a reporting point that we've established here. And we want to come in at least at 2,000 or 2,000, whatever you are now, that's perfect. I think I'm starting to fly a little bit without thinking, a little bit. Of course bit. you are. Yeah. Geez, only early lessons, this is early days. But you know, you sort of, oh, I'm flying it, and you sort of, yeah. After two or 3,000 hours, I don't have to think about it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Try not to fight it too much. Basically, if you just keep your feet perfectly steady, it's a nice day today. You don't need to move it at all. Oh, yes, yeah, so we're aiming for the dam. Okay. Yeah, see the dam and the runway's up the top of it? Yeah, all right, so i just got to go this way. That's about it, yep. We don't want to go down any lower, so I'd hold it about there, I would. So, again, it's that attitude, that picture out the front, what does it look like to me? It, and you're perfectly there. You don't want that, right? That's wrong. And you don't want that. That's too deep. Yep. You want it about there. Yep. And we're straight and level. And we're doing 90 knots. That tells you also. 800 revs. Yeah, so again, the pilot's always thinking ahead. So I'm going to be thinking I'm going to be landing that way at this stage. As the gliders have changed, which I doubt. Um, and so we've got to do a circuit pattern to join the circuits. So we'll follow the same set of rules. Early days for you at the moment. You'll get the idea. So do we want to be approaching at an altitude of 2,000, did you say? At least 2,000. 2,200 is fine. Okay. Call of traffic, Jabiru 7385 is overhead, overhead Gawler Dam at uh, 2,200 inbound, Gawler. Let them know we're coming in. Yep. So now... We want to stay to the left of the runway. This is called the dead side, the inactive side. So we want to stay, basically head over the hangars. Can you see the hangars there? So you want to get that side? Yeah, just hang over, over the top of the hangars. That'll be perfect. So now we can start coming down. We've got to get down to what we call the circuit height. The circuit height is 1,200. So we've got to come down to 1,000 feet. Just nice and slowly. So bring the power back. What would you like me to go to? Oh, say 2,000. 2,000 revs. Back, 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 back. Oh, sorry, I was going the wrong way. Put off the accelerator, that's good, a bit more. Out there. Turn this on, I'll tell you why. And we'll put the fuel pump on, just yep. in case that one failed. Carb heat fuel pump on, yep. yep. So head over towards the hangar still, over the top of the hangar. So we're landing now? No, no, we're going to do this circuit, this pattern, which we'll talk about okay. when we get on the ground. A bit high for land, aren't we? I would well, I think we'll thought so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
Right over the sheds? Yeah, over the hangar. And we're coming down. 500 foot a minute, perfect. Yep. You don't feel any sense of descending, do you? Not really. That's what passengers like. Yep. Okay, so generally about 500 foot a minute, perfect. So when we get nearly to 1,200, we've got to stop this descent. So we took the power away to come down, so we need power to stay there. Yep. Okay. So when we get to about 1,300, getting ready, so we'll put power on about now, put 2,800 on again. Yep. And that will stop the descent. And we'll come out at 1,200. There we are. We're climbing again, so push it forward a little bit. You're good. You'll be fine. You're teachable, which is good. So this is the dead side. This is the inactive side. There's no aircraft out here, or shouldn't be, other than gliders, which we need to look at. Okay, so my aircraft. Means you aircraft. can sit back and relax. So we're doing what we call a circuit. A pattern that we all follow, so we know where each other are at any given time. And can you see that shed there, just on the other side of the highway? Yep. With the, with the ponds yep. this side of it? We must not go that side of it. Oh, okay. That's Edinburgh. So we're going to stay around there. So we're going to make a call here now. Caller, traffic Jabbery 7385 is joining Crosswind 23. Caller. I'm just telling people where I am. Okay. And anyone taking off would see me now turning here. Because they're all coming out this way to take off. So you said you, I was turning Jabiru 385, turning, 7385, yeah. 7385, turning crosswind. Crosswind, joining crosswind. We're joining the circuit crosswind. crosswind. It's the crosswind leg. Yep. These are things you'll learn. This is all early stuff. Here. Caller, traffic Jabiru 7385, final 23, full stop caller. When you watch the video back, you'll see that it all starts to make more sense. Particularly up here, if you're sort of your first lesson, it's all overwhelming. <laughs> but it all, it all makes sense. So I've got to land in front of that glider. Obviously, I don't want to hit the glider. Jabber 8399, taxiing runway 23, call on. So I'm watching down here. I want to come here at about 63. 64 knots, I'm using power. Hey, station Gawler, this is Jabiru 8538 for a radio check, please. Yeah, 7385, reading your 5. Yeah, thank you, reading your 5. A bit fast, there we are, 65. See yeah. the number 23 on the runway? So have you, the... you still done the trim, Ian, on the way down? Oh, or? my word, it depends yep. on what, at the moment I've got very little pressure on, I'm about right where I want it. Nice one, Ian. Don't get much smoother than that one. No, that wasn't too bad. We'd land on the bitumen, you wouldn't have even felt it. 